I'll be showing you how to use dictate speech to text and voice commands in Microsoft Word. There have been some recently improved dictation features in the free version of Word. And if you head over to the right hand side, I'll show you where that is. So I'm going to put my cursor here and I'm going to click on dictate. And I will have to allow my microphone. And as you can see, everything that I say is just going to automatically show up on the screen. You actually hear a little sound when you click on dictate. So again, I'll put my cursor there and I'll click on dictate. And you should let me just click on that. You hear the little sound. And down here at the bottom are some wonderful controls that you can move around the screen so that you could see to stop dictation or start dictation right there. So now it is going to continue with my dictation. And this runs a little bit slower than the Google version, I feel, but it is very intuitive and it does pick up most of the words that you say. So if I speak very, very quickly, it's going to pick it up. And if I speak very slowly, it will pick it up. But it's just going to be a few beats behind. So if you're going to stop dictation, you want to make sure that it finishes representing what it is that you want to say. Good. Now I can turn it off. Some people prefer to just drag the uh, controls right over here to the right so that they're not in the way of the screen. Now I'm going to choose the settings. I can change the spoken language to any language that I need it to be that is represented here as a choice. I can turn auto punctuation on. I can even turn the profanity filter on and off. I also want to show you the little help bar, which is right here, in case you need more features. You can look at the make corrections where you can fix mistakes with suggestions or keyboard without having to turn off that mic option. At the moment, corrections cannot be made fully with voice, but the markings will appear under words with alternates that we may have misheard. So you can see that you can ignore them. Just going to pop that out again, show you some of the other options. In terms of the auto punctuation, this list down here is good to familiarize yourself with so that you know exactly what to say. So I do have the auto punctuation on in this version of Word. And you can see that I can just say these things and the output is going to represent whatever it is I say here. So I'm going to put my cursor back over here. Apostrophe S. And see how first it spelled it out and then it put it in because those are kind of shortcuts. So anytime I say any of these punctuation commands, comma, first it will write the word, then it will transcribe it as the output it was supposed to be, colon, semicolon, open quotes, some language here, close quotes, hyphen, period, full stop, new line, So there it went right to the new line and you can see that the punctuation is not actually there for the line. Um, it doesn't give a punctuation mark. It literally just gives you the output as a new line. So just make sure that you do familiarize yourself with these options, period. And there are some other things down here. If you scroll further down in terms of editing, undo, delete. Let's check those out because these are some of the wonderful new features that Microsoft has given us access to. So I'll just put, put my cursor where I want it and then I'm going to start talking. 
and I'm going to say a sentence, delete that. Delete that. It deleted the last thing that I typed. Delete, I typed. So you can see that that is now gone. So these are wonderful features. So definitely make sure that you take a few moments, comma, to look in the area to the right, because that is where all of those features are available. And if you just try using one, delete one, you can get yourself used to using it and using it effectively. If I stop talking, and I'll just wait in just a second, you'll see that the dictation will automatically turn off by itself. Great, and so you saw it turn off. As you can see over here to the right, there's so many other choices. Formatting bold, italics, underline, superscript. So let's just test the bold so you can see how that works. I'm going to place a sentence here, bold here, period. So you've got all of these options for your commands. This is called voice command. So this is dictation and these are your voice commands and what they actually do. You can see that you can even place symbols. So there's lots of good tools here, not only for language arts, but there are some for math as well. And keep checking back because they're constantly adding new features to their products in order to up the accessibility value of Microsoft Word and the other Microsoft products. So you can see here what we've got um, for math, equal science lesson, some basic math, and currency, there's even some emojis.